This is a Living Faith Prayer Prompt. Increasing Devotion to Jesus in the Eucharist. Each April, the Catholic Church invites us to grow in devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. Consider these opportunities all month long, and especially on Holy Thursday. Here are eight ways to grow Eucharistic devotion in your life. Number one, attend Mass with renewed dedication. Give Jesus your complete attention as God's Word is proclaimed and especially throughout the Eucharistic prayer and communion rite. Consider daily Mass attendance beyond regular Sunday attendance. Or find more time to pray with the Mass readings between Sundays. Number two, go to Eucharistic Adoration, Benediction, or make a private holy hour. Praying before the Blessed Sacrament in the Monstrance or the Tabernacle increases our longing to receive communion. You can also make a spiritual communion anywhere, anytime. I'll leave a link in the final slide of this video so you can learn how. Number three, go to confession. If burdened by serious sin, mortal sin that is, then penance and reconciliation are needed to partake of the Eucharist. These two sacraments are vitally connected and necessary for our conversion. If you've forgotten what to do or how to go to confession, tell the priest and he'll guide you through it. Number four, study key scripture verses. Here are some suggestions. Matthew 26, verses 26 to 29. Mark chapter 14, verses 22 to 25. Luke chapter 22, verses 19 to 20. John chapter 6, verses 33, 50 to 51, and 63 to 64. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 18 to 21, and chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. We'll leave those citations at the end of this video. Number five, read what the Church teaches about the Eucharist. Review the Catechism of the Catholic Church, specifically paragraphs 1322 through 1419. Again, we'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can read these paragraphs online. Number six, Sing or listen to the time-honored hymns written by St. Thomas Aquinas. The Eucharist inspired Thomas to write Panis Angelicus, Tantum Ergo Sacramentum, and Adoro Te Devote, and more. You can search for the lyrics and melodies online or in your church hymnal. Number seven, invoke Mary's faithful help. St. John Paul II says there is a profound analogy between the fiat which Mary said in reply to the angel and the amen which every believer says when receiving the body of the Lord. Unquote. The same humanity and divinity of Jesus in the womb of Mary is present under the signs of bread and wine in the Eucharist. That comes from John Paul's last encyclical on the Eucharist, and we'll leave that reference in the last slide of this video. Finally, number eight, call on saints renowned for Eucharistic devotion. Learn about St. Cyril of Jerusalem, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Margaret Mary, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Alphonsus Liguori, St. Peter Julian Amar, St. Catherine Drexel, and St. John Newman. And let me leave you with this wonderful quote from St. Therese of Lisieux, who declared, quote, The best means to reach perfection is through receiving Holy Communion frequently. Experience sufficiently proves it in those who practice it. Discover more at livingfaith.com. I'm Pat Gone, editor of Living Faith. Thanks for listening.